The paper discusses the misconception that the Kalman filter requires Gaussian error and noise processes to be applied rigorously and optimally. This misconception has led to the dismissal of the Kalman filter in favor of more complicated or heuristic approaches for non-Gaussian error applications. The authors emphasize that linearity does not imply Gaussianity, minimizing mean squared error does not require Gaussianity, and the Kalman filter is MMSE optimal without any assumptions of Gaussianity. The paper begins by summarizing the linear estimation filtering problem and how the same optimal solution has been derived from two different perspectives with different assumptions. It highlights that the Kalman filter can be applied rigorously and optimally to systems with errors from any probability distribution with finite first and second moments. The authors then introduce a linear system model where the state at time step k is given by xk equals fk1 xk1 plus vk1 where fk1 is the state transition matrix, and vk1 is the additive process noise. They assume that this noise is independent from time step, has zero mean, and its covariance is known but not necessarily Gaussian distributed. The observation model for a sensor measurement of the state of the system is also presented as yk equals hk xk plus weak, where hk is the measurement matrix and weak is the measurement noise. The authors assume that the measurement noise is also independent from time step, has zero mean, and its covariance is known but not necessarily Gaussian distributed. The paper goes on to discuss the historical development of the Kalman filter, which was originally derived as the optimal solution to the linear estimation problem under the assumption of Gaussian errors. However, the authors emphasize that the optimality of the Kalman filter does not rely on Gaussianity, but rather on the assumptions of linearity independence of errors, and knowledge of the error covariance. They also discuss how the Kalman filter has been applied to nonlinear systems using the extended Kalman filter, EKF, and the unscented Kalman filter, UKF, which approximate the state and error covariance through linearization or sampling methods. In conclusion, the paper aims to clarify the misconception about the Kalman filter's requirement for Gaussian error and noise processes. It emphasizes that the Kalman filter is a versatile tool that can be applied rigorously and optimally to systems with errors from any probability distribution with finite first and second moments, making it a powerful tool for various engineering and scientific applications. The Kalman filter is a widely used optimal filter for estimating the state of a system based on measurements, with its optimality derived from the perspective of L2 norm error minimization via orthogonal projections. However, there is a common misconception that the Kalman filter can only be applied when errors are Gaussian distributed. This misconception arises due to the fact that the filter's mean and covariance estimate can be interpreted as parameterizing a Gaussian distribution representing the exact error distribution conditioned on the sequence of observations, under the assumption of Gaussian errors. In reality, the minimum mean squared error, MMSE, optimality of the Kalman filter does not depend on the assumption of Gaussian errors. Instead, it is achieved with broad generality and relatively weak assumptions. The filter guarantees that the expected squared error of the system estimate decreases at a certain rate, but it does not provide information necessary to answer questions about the probability of specific events, such as the mean position estimate being within one meter of the true position. To address this limitation, Ho and Lee, 14, Rederived the optimal filter from a Bayesian perspective, replacing the mean covariance pair with the full probability density function. This approach allows for a more comprehensive understanding of the system's state and its associated uncertainties. The Kalman filter operates on linear state space models, with the relationship between the system state and measurements given by equations 1 and 2. The filter is initialized at time step 0 with an estimate x0. 0 and an error covariance PO, 0, which do not have to be Gaussian. The goal is to compute an estimate Xi, J at time step I based on all observations up to time step J, along with its associated error covariance Pi, J. The relationship between the estimate and the state is given by equation, 3, and the mean squared error in this estimate is given by equation, 4. In practice, the covariance matrix pi, j can be interpreted as representing the best available upper bound on the expected squared error associated with xi, j, as shown in equation, 5. In conclusion, 
The Kalman filter is a versatile tool for state estimation that does not require Gaussian errors. Its MMSE optimality is achieved under general conditions, and it can be adapted to provide a more comprehensive understanding of the system's state through a Bayesian perspective. The paper discusses the Kalman filter, a widely used algorithm in signal processing and control systems, and its relationship with Gaussianity. The authors argue that the Bayesian interpretation of the Kalman filter, which is often presented in textbooks and introductory expositions, can lead to misconceptions about the filter's performance. Specifically, the Bayesian derivation implies that Gaussian distributed noises are somehow more conducive to good filter performance, which is not necessarily true. The authors highlight that the Kalman filter is actually MMSE optimal, meaning it minimizes the mean squared error between the estimated and true states, without any assumptions of Gaussianity. This is shown through the chapman kolmogorov equation, which describes the prediction step of the filter, and Bayes' rule, which describes the update step. The filter's optimality is not dependent on Gaussianity, but rather on the linearity of the system. The authors also discuss the limitations of the Bayesian interpretation, which requires exact and complete knowledge of the full statistics of all noises. In contrast, the least squares derivation of the Kalman filter can accommodate conservative covariance estimates and is more consistent with real-world applications, where the error covariance of a sensor can never be ascertained with infinite precision. The paper concludes by emphasizing the importance of distinguishing between the assumptions required for the method of derivation and those required for effective use of the filter. The authors aim to dispel the misconception that Gaussianity is necessary for good filter performance and highlight the generality and optimality of the Kalman filter. The paper includes a list of references that demonstrate the widespread use of the Kalman filter in various fields, including signal processing, control systems, and robotics. The authors cite several key papers that have contributed to their research, including Rosenberg and Werman's general filter for measurements with any probability distribution, which provides a foundation for handling uncertainty in their model, 10. Additionally, Pfister et al.'s work on a normative theory of synaptic depression is relevant to their exploration of synaptic plasticity, 11. The authors also acknowledge research on estimating human core temperature from sequential heart rate observations which informs their understanding of physiological processes, 12. Furthermore, they draw on the use of auto-associative neural networks for dynamic data reconciliation, as demonstrated by Bai et al., 13. The author's approach is also influenced by Bayesian methods, as exemplified by Ho and Lee's work on stochastic estimation and control, 14. This is reflected in their use of probabilistic graphical models to represent complex relationships between variables. The author's model integrates multiple sources of information, including physiological signals, environmental data, and prior knowledge, to estimate the state of the system. The probabilistic graphical model is composed of multiple layers, each representing a different aspect of the system. The authors use a combination of discrete and continuous variables to represent the system's dynamics. The model is learned using a variational inference algorithm which enables efficient computation of the posterior distribution over the model's parameters. The author's approach is characterized by the use of a probabilistic framework to handle uncertainty and ambiguity in the data. This is reflected in their use of Bayesian methods and probabilistic graphical models. The model's performance is evaluated using a range of metrics, including accuracy, precision, and recall. The authors acknowledge several limitations of their approach including the assumption of a specific probabilistic model and the requirement for large amounts of training data. Future work will involve exploring alternative models and addressing these limitations.